Okay, <clears throat> morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday the 23rd of September. Um, yeah, I've been watching this cold front, I think we all have, just slowly creeping down over the last two days um, from the northwest. And there was certainly a lot of uncertainty over the last 12 hours as to what it was going to do, whether it was going to turn into a real waving front that just sit there for two days or whether it was going to clear through. And it appears actually it's going to slowly clear through, although it may be a very slow process today and we might not get a lot out of it. I think it will clear us. And tomorrow looks fine. So this is the midday chart still lingering over us, but a very weak feature by this time. Um, I think by midday, one o'clock, I suspect it's just be a cloud feature. Uh, with lowish, you know, 1,000, 1,500 foot cloud, um, lingering bits of rain maybe, uh, but slowly clearing through. And then overnight it, it just gets to the channel. And then tomorrow we're into a, a, a northeasterly flow. So today, yeah, at the moment we've got a south, southwesterly at low levels with the front um, sat over us. And as the front clears, you know, and it's properly clearing because the wind will go northerly, northeasterly. And we'll sort of have a, yeah, you know, we're not going to have a proper clearance really looking at the sap pick. Uh, Taft's Farnborough are hedging their bets on, on everything, really. They're going 226 knots. That's sort of what it is now. Um, and scattered at two and a half, I, I, maybe much, much later in the afternoon, early evening. Um, and tempo, the bits that really interest us between six and one, um, 6,000 metres rain broken at 900 feet. That's probably what we've got now. Tempo between sort of seven and 12, uh, 4,000 metres rain and drizzle broken at four, 400 feet. So, yeah, here's the, the important bit. The wind at some point will swing to the north, uh, 360, 10 knots any time between to the 12 and three really that's the indication that the front has finally cleared us so fingers crossed uh, we might get something later not right in the whole day off um and the upper winds when we do go flying yeah you can you can see flying heights they will be sort of 350 360 uh but the sort of 25,000 foot wind the, the main upper wind is from west southwesterly direction so quite a change um, with height. Um, sap pick. You can pick out the the bits of the bits of rain, the, the white blobs that are here, and this is all just low low cloud, and there's still low cloud loitering um, over the Oxford area. So quite a long way to to clear really and, and slowly improve, but there isn't much rain on that bit out to the west of us. You see that on the rainfall radar, the, the main bits have actually gone past us. What it is, is just you know, tiny light bits of drizzle uh, and lower cloud out here. Temperature wise, it's not going to feel warm today. They're talking, I mean, it, it, it's sort of under this stuff, 16, 17 degrees, quite humid. Um, middle of the country, I think north of Oxford, where it's been clear already, temperatures up 18, 19 degrees, and certainly a chance of soaring up around there. But for us, uh, temperatures down around the sort of 15, 16, 17 mark um, to the afternoon, and dew points around, you know, I think that's probably about right. They're a bit higher than that at the moment, but um, 12s, so it's not a great deal of temperature split even this afternoon. So I'm not holding out much hope for. A soaring forecast here, though better further to the northwest. Um, that's the 12 one o'clock ascent, both lines together. So that, that's pretty grim, really. Uh, cloud all the way up through there uh, and slowly pulling apart as the afternoon goes on. Um, by late afternoon, it should be, should be okay. Cloud's broken up, um, looks fine. And you look further north, um, that's the Vista Buckingham area. One o'clock, it, it's probably soarable in there by that time, but not, not fantastic, you know, two and a half thousand feet. And even in the afternoon, 
with sort of 17, 18 degrees, I still think you're gonna you're gonna have lucky if you get 3,000 feet uh, and quite high cloud tops um, this afternoon. But again, that's further north, um, which yeah, that weather probably won't actually reach us. Though never say never. Um, Nine o'clock cloud picture from Top Meteo. I uh, see lots of the, the sort of sub 500 foot cloud in our area here. Run it forward a couple of hours and it's slowly starting to improve by um, 12, one o'clock and then two, three o'clock. Uh, hopefully we're, we're in here somewhere. It's looking a bit better. Um, and we're starting to get sort of some of the cloud break up for the afternoon. But the front still lingers um, down to the south of us. It's, it's a feature that really is going to dominate our weather today and depends on how it moves. Will entirely depend on whether we go flying or not. Um, soaring, well, Top Media are predicting sort of still rain and and showers around here till sort of midday and any soaring is going to be north of Oxford which is understandable and sky site are pretty much the same really here's their their cloud base anticipation for so that's 12 30 local time round Lasham still quite low under a thousand feet further to the north up around two and a half to three thousand feet Certainly north of the Bry zone looks better and you can move it forward three or four hours. They're, they're still saying it might be raining here, um, but I think the current model seems to show the sort of front moving away. So fingers crossed on that one. Um, but cloud base to the west of us, two and a half, three thousand feet above sea level so fingers crossed we'll actually get something with just far enough away from the front um, to get flying but unlikely to get soarable okay so it's sort of drink more tea watch the weather and uh, see what happens out the window airspace wise fairly quiet um, did write down one or two things but nothing nothing of relevance to us um, locally to Lasham, as you you can see there's all the usual things out to the west with radio transmissions from Boscombe paragliding at various places, number 19 and 20, number 26 is uh, military parachuting at Bry's, but that's only from 10.30 to 11.30. And that really is about it. Um, nothing else in the, the area that's really of relevance to us. Quite quiet on the, the no town front, as you would expect as we roll into September. Uh, movement wise today a um, couple of things to know about pa31 is outbound at 1330 uh, back up to sywell and in theory there's an a319 um, coming in at 1730 it's it's forecast to depart um, berlin at around three oh four o'clock ish uh, is the current flight plan uh, in at 5.30, but that often changes. Um, I think if it does get here at 5.30, even if we've been out there, we'll probably be on the road to finishing our flying. And there's no evening flying tonight. The evening group have uh, called it a week early because uh, a number of people are down with COVID. Um, so that's really about it, folks. It's just sit, drink tea, look out the window and uh, hope for a clearance. And if it does clear, I'll see you out there.